It almost looks like a, like a lima bean or something. Yeah. <laughs> right? If you like our channel, please subscribe and set yourself up for notifications so you'll never miss any brand new videos. Hey guys, it's Dr. Anwin with Healthy Feet Podiatry. We have a uh, good case for you guys. Most likely a ganglion cyst that we see right here. Kind of hard to tell, so we'll take it out. We'll send it to a lab and everything just to make sure we know what it is. Um, but it's a soft tissue mass. It kind of moves around. It's acting like a ganglion cyst, so we'll see. All right, so we got our patient all numbed up. And we are ready to go. You let me know if you have any pain, okay? Okay. How does this feel right here? No, um, Any, anything shy? <laughs> That's a good thing. All right, I'm getting started. You let me know, okay? okay. What are you reading? to if we see it and it looks like it gave me a cyst to try not to pop it and take out the whole sack that way this thing doesn't come back even if we do pop it it's no big deal but the main goal is to take <laughs> out the sack so it doesn't return so ganglion cysts they usually come from either joints or tendons and it balloons off the, the little capsule around it and so it fills up with fluid and eventually just gets bigger and bigger where, to the point where it's irritating. So we can kind of see right here where this area is bulging out. You can kind of see it's off. Looks like it's filled with fluid. So I'm gonna slowly kind of dissect around it. Let's see if we can not pop it. We'll take that out and keep kind of separating all the tissue around it so it kind of just releases from the capsule. Can you see okay from there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is just a normal. Nerve right here, so we want to avoid that because that um, cyst is probably pressing along the nerve too and that can cause some pain as well. Doing okay? Yeah, it's okay. a little bit of dull pain underneath the toenail, that's all. Dull pain underneath the toenail? Yeah. Okay. Um, so right around where we're working, you have a nerve that runs right along there and it kind of feeds that nail. Mm -hmm. Let me know if you keep feeling that, okay? Okay. So we can always give you more medication. We're probably close to halfway done though. Okay. Not feeling it so far? Good. So good? So good so far. Okay. This almost looks like a, like a lima bean or something. Yeah. <laughs> right? Um, 
almost there. <clears throat> anything much nope uh, pretty free i'll show you in a second what it looks like but we're looking at about one and a half by one centimeter here you want to take a look sure. <laughs> okay so we're going to send that for pathology <laughs> just to make sure that it's not anything dangerous anything like that from what it looks like it does look like a ganglion cyst um looks like it's filled with fluid and everything so now that it's gone, I think he's gonna feel a lot better just cause it's not pressing on the structures around it, plus that nerve that was sitting right there. Um, so he's gonna feel a lot better. Let's flush it first. <clears throat> I think she's smiling. Can I take a quiet holiday with good for a lot of people? I think so. I think uh, some people that dread, you know, the yeah. whole Thanksgiving and seeing family and everyone. Just to be home and just have time. Just to relax and, and everything. Yeah, that was nice. One holiday time, one to go. Mm hmm. Are you staying here? Yeah. Do you miss the, uh, the snow and like white Christmas no. and all that stuff? No, not at all. No. I miss, uh, it's nice to see snow, but not live in it. Right. I didn't see snow when I was 27 years old. Wow. I think I was up there. I mean, maybe I was around like 20, but that was the first time I saw snow. You live in Chicago? You went to school in Chicago? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. yeah you definitely. Oh, I knew <laughs> all about the cold. I love Chicago, but it's bitter. Man, six months out of the year yeah. is not fun. No. That's where I met my wife. In Chicago? Yeah. On the baby's beard. Aww. Only time I've ever been there. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> and she lived in Arizona. And I lived here, so. Wow. You were just there visiting? Yep. And just by happenstance you met her? Yep. Cisco, meant to be cisco systems conference that's who you were working for at the time well no i was working for Publix doing their networking uh-huh and um she was working for american express doing the same thing right and we just met standing on the pier and emails and and phone calls back and forth after <clears throat> a little bit and we went up spending two and a half years going back and forth Aww. wow and you were living here? And yeah, I was living here, and then I moved to Arizona for 11 years. Wow. We've been back here for six. How do you like it here? Or, well, you're well, from, from well, but spent, how does she like it here? I spent four years here, so. I was say, I just, I mean, so here is tropical, Arizona's dry. Which do you, which well, do you so prefer? Well, I like both, and both states are spectacular. Yeah. Um, Arizona's got so much to offer from an outdoors perspective. Mm-hmm. They just don't have an ocean. Right. I grew up diving and spearfishing and fishing and salt and freshwater boats. So that was kind of an adjustment. Right. I don't know, that dry heat, I feel like it's still pretty darn hot and it's it uncomfortable. It's like a, you know, air, a hair dryer blowing on you all day. Right. Like when I go to Vegas, and we step off the plane, mm -hmm. you, I mean, you feel it instantly. <laughs> yeah, I lived, it was about four hours out of Vegas. Mm -hmm. Location's kind of cool because you are four hours from Vegas, four hours from, well, five hours to LA and about six hours to San Diego. Mm -hmm. And of course you can go up to four quarters and hit Colorado pretty quick. Okay, so that's our incision. Um, that should heal pretty well. We'll leave those in for about two weeks. Okay. And, and as far as walking, 
As far as walking, you can walk um, immediately. We're gonna fit you for a boot today just to protect this incision. Okay. And then you're in there for two weeks, but you can okay. walk right away. Yeah. Just, we can't get this wet. Okay, so keep it dry. Right. So keep it dry, typical incision stuff. And right. then don't really walk without the boot. Exactly, so anytime you're putting weight on it, you wanna stay in that boot just yeah. to protect it. Yeah, so you're not bending the foot and all. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, guys. Um, well, I hope you guys like that video. Um, just a typical cyst, but it's kind of interesting just to see what comes out of there because sometimes we never know what's actually underneath there. Um, hope you like that video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks. Bye, guys.